From being booted off Big Brother over a doctored video in 2016 to being denied judicial extradition in 2023, this is the tragic real-life story of Andrew Tate. I'll start where it all began. Tate's had to learn to make it on his own since his childhood. Emery Andrew Tate is one of three siblings, along with a younger brother named Tristan and a sister named Janine. His father was international chess master Emery Tate, who passed away in October 2015. According to Tate, he's never really had much of a relationship with his father. His parents divorced when he was still pretty young, and his mother relocated the family to England. There, she worked multiple jobs to support herself and her young children. And because of that, Tate felt like he had to grow up earlier than most kids his age. He saw that his mother would often be struggling to make ends meet and tried to find work as soon as he could. And he did, as a professional kickboxer who started his career back in 2005. Good shot. Oh, 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 him. King Cobra, as he liked to be known inside of the ring, actually had a pretty successful career. So much so that the International Sport Kickboxing Association named him the seventh best light heavyweight kickboxer in all of Britain. He enjoyed a moderate level of fame for some time before he was invited to join the 17th season of Big Brother. The other housemates are too busy being excited. They're on TV and running around acting like fools. That's where he had his first run in with social justice warriors. The reality show booted him after a doctored video went viral. Tate was kind of a notorious figure going into the show. His earlier racist and homophobic comments on Twitter spread through the internet like wildfire after he was introduced to the house, with many viewers complaining that he shouldn't be on the show, irrespective of the fact that during his time in the Big Brother house, Tate was actually generally well-liked by all of his co-stars. But according to the former CEO of Hustlers University, everyone was out to get him. Soon afterward, when his tweets failed to gain significant traction, a video of him whipping a woman with a belt went viral. And I mean it went viral. Media publications picked it up and deemed Tate dangerous. The network responded to the whole situation by kicking Tate out of the home. However, when Tate caught wind of the video, he didn't think much of it. And I know you're wondering, wow. What a horrible guy. I mean, he really thinks he didn't do anything wrong? That might be because he really didn't. Tate told everyone that the video was fake. He said that before the incident of him whipping the woman in the clip, the woman, a friend of his, had actually been whipping him. And he said it was all in good fun and they even laughed about it afterward. In the same clip. But of course, that wasn't shown. The woman herself told everyone that they were friends goofing around but no one believed her. It was nothing but a play, consensual foreplay. Because by then, everyone loved to hate Tate. And you know what? Tate actually monetized on the hate they were giving him. According to the social media sensation, he realized that since everyone believed he was a misogynist anyway, he might as well play the role. So for years afterward, until 2022, Tate took on an online persona as a self-proclaimed misogynist. I know it's hard to believe that all of that was just Tate playing a role, but that's exactly what he said. When multiple social media platforms decided to ban him without notice in August of 2022, Tate, who had millions of followers across multiple social media platforms, suddenly found himself being banned from all of them, one by one. It started with Meta, the company that owns both Facebook and Instagram. A spokesperson from the company claimed that Tate had violated their community guidelines in terms of service by promoting hate speech and violence against women. No, and the women can't help you, and okay, women hey, cannot help that you. Is an situation. TikTok was next to follow. The platform claimed that they had decided to not only ban Tate, but also ban anyone who'd post videos of Tate, or anyone who'd be found supporting the guy. Last came YouTube. And the video sharing platform, just like everyone else, banned Tate without prior notice. At the time he was outed from all these platforms, Tate had over 7.4 million followers on Instagram and close to a million on YouTube. Spokespeople from all of these sites claimed that anything and everything that came out of Tate's mouth was a violation of their community guidelines. But Tate and his lawyers seem to think otherwise. They believe it's just a way to appease an audience. Look. Tate's not the only guy who posts videos of himself saying some controversial stuff. I'm sure you could name five people right off the top of your head. So why ban Andrew Tate? Why not wage war against everyone who fails to comply with the guidelines? Not only does Tate claim they have no basis to ban him, since he's only playing a character, but that they're doing it to better their public image. 
He and his lawyers believe that these social platforms are just looking for a way to make themselves look like the good guys by booting the world's most hated man. But Tate's lawyers claim that they could deal with being banned. After all, Rumble still exists and they're more than willing to have Tate on their platform. But what they couldn't deal with were the numerous lawsuits against Tate over the fact that he was playing a role on the internet. The social media ban was controversial, if I'm putting it lightly. Now, many people came out in support of Tate. For instance, MMA fighter Jake Shields believes it's nonsense. While many people were applauding social media sites for banning Tate, Jake Shields posed a pretty interesting question. Why ban Tate for his alleged misogyny, but celebrate numerous female social media stars for promoting a toxic lifestyle? Shields mentioned Cardi B and her risque lyrics that often reference drugs and sex, and the Kardashians for promoting the unattainable ideal body type and lifestyle. Cardi B actually responded to Shields and claimed that he was just using her name for attention. I don't know about Shields' beef with the rapper, but you need to admit he has a point. Anyway, while being banned from social media sure hurt Tate, nothing came close to what happened next. Andrew and Tristan were arrested in Romania over pizza boxes? I know, it sounds bizarre, but according to several conspiracy theorists, Tate's recent arrest in Romania was because his haters linked his location to the pizza boxes in his pictures and made the Romanian authorities to go after him. Well, the controversial social media influencer Andrew Tate has been arrested in Romania. Granted, that's speculation, but according to Romanian authorities, they already had just cause to arrest him. They claimed that Andrew, Tristan, and two female accomplices were involved in assault, human trafficking, and organized crime. They claimed to have six victims who were brought to Romania over false pretenses, and then imprisoned and forced to make pornographic videos with the brothers. The Tate brothers deny the allegations, but denying them wasn't enough. Andrew filed three separate motions to have his arrest changed to house arrest because of underlying health reasons, but the judge denied his claims. Eventually, when reports surfaced that Tate might actually have a mass in his lungs, possibly cancerous, and when people started to allege that the Romanian authorities had no real evidence to detain him over, he was transferred to house arrest on March 2023. When he was released, Tate revealed that the guards would lock him in a cell with bugs, lice, and fleas, and no light coming in. They'd keep him isolated all day, only taking him out for his court appearances for three straight months. And now, Andrew's set to appear in court sometime in April to defend himself of the charges levied against him. When I was in jail, I focused on doing push-ups and reading the Quran. When I am home, I will focus. We'll have to wait and see what happens. So from his arrest in Romania to being booted from the Big Brother house over an edited video, this was the tragic, real-life story of Andrew Tate.